Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. When I make these videos, some guys say, how do you know what's going on in my house? You must live in the walls of my kitchen. How do you know every word that's being said? How do you, how do you get into my head so much? My answer is always the same because I don't make these videos for you. I make them for me. I make them for myself as I currently am. I'm making them for the older version of myself that I remember not so fondly and I want to remind him how to think and how to be. So if I say something that might sound a little, you know, aggressive, a little uh, insulting or offensive to you, you know, get over it. It's for me. It's not for you. And so this video has to do with something that all of us can fall victim to, and that is being wishy-washy, wishy-washy, indecisive, non-committal. It's a really horrible energy that makes us feel like crap inside our own bodies. But guess what? It's some of the most annoying, irritable, unattractive energy a man can give off. What does it mean to be wishy-washy? Well, in two different senses. One in the way we respond to people. If we're asked a question by anybody and we come up with, well, I don't know, uh, maybe, you know, I have to think about that. I want you to have a flippant opinion. Think about what it is you believe. What do you stand for? When you're asked a question by anyone, your wife or a coworker or something, try to think of what you believe, what you think is true. And even if you don't know, say, I don't know confidently and with authority. So often we get wishy-washy. We're asked a question, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. I'll take anything. Whatever you come up with is good. Have a flipping opinion on something when you're asked a question. Know what it is you want to say, know why you're saying it, and if you don't know, say, I don't know. I'll get back to you later. But being wishy-washy is very, it's very non-committal, it's kind of weak, it's kind of uh, just really indecisive, and it's just annoying. It's annoying to yourself. You know in your body when you're being wishy-washy, you just don't feel well. You don't think much of yourself. Another way we're wishy-washy is with our own life, with our own goals, and this applies to me especially. I'm headed out to California tomorrow because I made a phone call. My coach is putting on for the fourth year in a row an intensive for about 200 people. I've been the last three years. This year I wanted to go and be part of it. I wanted to be a part of the team leading it and, and give back to people who are showing up for the first time like I did four years ago. And I just decided to pick up the phone and call his assistant and say, hey, I want to help. How can I help? And she goes, oh my God, really? Yeah. So it turns out I'm flying out there tomorrow for four days to get on the source team, as they call it, and help them out at the intensive. I'm going to be in Santa Monica. I had to book a room. I had to pay for that. I had to pay for my flight. I was a little bit wishy-washy about, can I afford this? Do I want to? Should I go? And screw it. I had a flipping opinion. I'm going. I want to be there. I want to give. I'll get the pet sitter. My girlfriend will be fine. And I just made a decision. So when it comes to getting stuff done that you want to get done, accomplishing goals that you want to accomplish, don't say, I think maybe I'll do this next year or I'm kind of planning on maybe doing this if I find the time or the money and, and sounding wishy-washy, indecisive, uncertain, and not even uh, committing to what you know you want to do. When you know you want to do something, make a decision and do it. Pick up a phone call, ask for help, uh, send an email, make a decision, make the purchase. There's almost no decision you can't make that can't be undone. But don't get caught in this wishy-washy limbo land of uncertainty, not making a decision. Again, why? It's because we feel like crap when we're wishy-washy and we come across as as being crap to those around us. We're uninspiring. We don't inspire energy. We don't inspire connection. Uh, it's, it's hard for a woman to feel attracted to us when we're wishy-washy. Again, those are all secondary reasons. The primary reason I make these videos is for an older version of me and the current version of me to feel better about myself, about who I am and what I want to do. So when I decided to make this video, I ran down to the barn and I said, I'm just going to do this. I only have 20 minutes before my next call, but I want to get this call across or this video across to you again for myself to remind me. I hope that makes sense and I hope it's helpful. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye bye.